Now, I get asked this question a lot. Which, which filter is better? And a lot of people think that a cheap filter is not going to be good for their air conditioner or that it's it's going to create more problems. I will say there's there's different kinds of filters. Today, we're going to do a, a speed test, on, on a wind test on two different types of filters, and you can decide which one's better. But I will say this, that the cheaper felt ones, they look like uh, pretty cheap. They're like 2 or $3. Those are actually better, especially here in Arizona in the summer. You need to move as much air, as much hot air out of the house or the apartment through, through the evaporator coil and exit it as cold air. That's that's really important. The more you can do it, and, and everybody knows that a dirty filter, for example, is going gonna, is gonna, to uh, freeze over your coils, freeze over your, your unit because it, it's dirty. You're not getting enough airflow. So it's really, really important that, that you have good airflow going through coil. Now, the thing is you cannot run a unit without a filter. If you do that, then all you're doing is you're getting the really hot air at really fast speeds going through a coil that's trying to cool down, and it's never going to work. It's the, the pressures are going to be off. Everything's going to be off because there's way too much hot air going through that coil, and it, it's, the coil's never going to cool down to where it needs to cool down. But at the same time, if it's really restricted, then the opposite is going to happen. It's just going to start freezing over, and you, 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 the air coming out of the vent is going to be really, really cold, but it's not going to go very far because it's, it's just really reduced. So there has to be a, a balance how much air ha- can go through a coil and, and still the coil be efficient. So now I'm going to do a test. I got this test that I did um, on, on, these, on these filters. I got two filters here. And you'll decide which one's better for you. Of course, if you have respiratory conditions and stuff like that, maybe, maybe the, the, the more expensive filter may be better for you. But the cheaper one will, will save your unit. Your unit's going to work less. You're going to save a lot of electricity because your unit's going to move that air faster. And so it's going to hit target and shut off faster than, than the one that's reduced. So now you, you, you be the judge. I'm gonna, I did this test. You look at it and you think, what, you think about which one is better for you. So for this test, I've got these two filters. This is a more expensive filter. I always remember when you install a filter, make sure you look at the arrow and which side the wind, the wind direction is supposed to go. So I've got these two filters. Now we're going we're gonna to do this test with this blower and this animator, which is an instrument to measure wind speeds. Um, I, I set this blower on a table so that I always get the same distance. I'm going to be measuring right at the edge of the table so that there's no um, nobody thinks that it's uh, for some reason. Now, the blower by itself is blowing about, let's call it about 23 and a half miles per hour. Just the blower by itself. Now we're going to test... First, we're going to test the good filter, the more expensive one that people consider better filter. And, of course, the arrow, that's the way you want the, uh, the, the wind to go through. Now, this is going to come out. The wind out of the, uh, this side of the filter is going to come out at, uh, let's call it about 10 and a half miles per hour. So we are losing about 13 miles per hour on this one, so the, which is about, uh, about 50%. Now, let's, let's do the test on the next filter and see how much it's going to reduce it, the cheap filter. But I consider this a better filter. Now, remember, that it's the, the, the blower itself is blowing at 23 and a half. Now, after this filter, it's, it's reducing it down to, let's call it 15 miles an hour. So it's actually reducing it about 8.5 miles an hour, which is a lot less, of course. So I hope this video helps somebody out.